only two minutes for her. James Holt advises Harry to delete all Megan's scenes in new project to avoid the hate train. To ensure the benefit of the organization as well as Harry's assistant, James Holt advised Harry to delete all scenes of Megan in the movie to avoid being hated on after Megan's bad drama. Although this made Megan mad, it seems that they did it, but in Invictus Games, Megan only appeared for two minutes. Harry and Megan's right-hand man, James Holt, is seen hosting an emotional group discussion in the couple's Heart of Invictus Netflix documentary. Mr. Holt served as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's UK spokesman before taking up his current role as executive director of their Archwell Foundation, March 2021. He makes fleeting appearances in the five-part Heart of Invictus, which was released this morning. In one scene in the fourth episode, which is called Group Therapy, Mr. Holt discusses or hosts the discussion in The Hague in the Netherlands ahead of the last year Invictus Games. Speaking to Harry and Meghan and other organizers, he addresses the COVID-enforced pause to the competition, saying, After a couple of years of delays, we are actually finally here. After Mr. Holt warns them all that the next few weeks will be tense and tough, Harry adds that the games are a group therapy for everyone. Prince Harry's docuseries, Heart of Invictus, premiered today, telling the story of his Invictus games. His wife, Meghan Markle, doesn't appear much in the five-episode show, but she does have some small cameos throughout. Prince Harry was overcome with emotion during a touching moment with Meghan Markle in his new Netflix documentary, Heart of Invictus. The prince was introduced by his wife to the stage at the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games in 2020, and after she called him up, his eyes looked fearful. See the touching moment in a video online. Adjusting the crowd, Meghan said, Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for your service, and to all the family and friends here that have been there supporting you all along the way because this is service. This is dedication, and this is the Invictus family. Please welcome to the stage my incredible husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. The documentary, which was released on Wednesday, went behind the scenes of the incredible tournament, which was set up by the Duke in 2014, nearly 10 years ago. In the documentary, Harry opened up about his own mental health and the lack of support he felt from those around him after he returned from serving in Afghanistan. He explained, The biggest struggle for me was the people, he began adding, no one around me could really help. I didn't have that support structure, that network, or that expert advice to identify what was really going on with me. Unfortunately, like me, the first time you really consider therapy is when you lie on the floor in the fetal position, probably wishing that you've dealt with some of this stuff before, and that's what I really want to change. According to the official website, quote, the games harness the power of sport to inspire recovery, support rehabilitation, and generate a wider understanding and respect for those who serve their country. The Invictus Games is about much more than just sport. It captures hearts, challenges minds, and changes lives. The games last around one week for up to 550 competitors, with the nine core sports and flexibility for additional activities and competitions, including esports. The lineup of sports include wheelchair rugby, powerlifting, sitting volleyball, and swimming. The first Invictus Games took place March 2014 at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London.